folks, it's time for some amazing fun facts about Syracuse University Orange Men basketball. Folks, did you know that Syracuse University has been playing basketball since 1900? Wow. Now, 1900 was an interesting year. That year, Kodak came out with an inexpensive point-and-shoot camera called the Brownie. How inexpensive? It only cost a dollar. Put that in your iPhone. It was supposed to be easy to use, and they had advertisements showing little kids operating the camera. It was easy to use, but it came with a 44-page book of instructions. Sir, this camera is so easy to use, your six-year-old can operate it, uh, provided he reads and writes at the college level. Johnny, you best be studying your reading and writing so you can read this 44-page booklet I want to take some family photos. Syracuse University has one of the winningest programs in all of college basketball, and they were recognized as national champions as early as 1918. An early standout for Syracuse was a guy named Vic Hansen, who was a three-sport letterman, and then went on to play professional basketball for a team called the Cleveland Rosenblooms, who were named after the owner of the team. I think we should go back to naming teams after their owners. Tonight on the NBA Game of the Week, it's the Los Angeles Bombers versus the San Antonio Holts. The Orangemen play at the Carrier Dome, the largest domed stadium in all of collegiate sports. The Carrier Dome is named after the Carrier Pigeon, and the school's tradition is to release a Carrier Pigeon before every home game that flies from the Carrier Dome to the Student Center with a note attached to its leg. This year the note said, Stop Trump. Please stop Trump. <laughs> 